hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel um i'm na christos and uh, today i'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to design a uh, 3000 followers milestone with easier lab uh, it doesn't really have to be 3000 uh, followers milestone you can use it for 10,000, 5,000 followers, and any number you hit on Instagram, on YouTube, on any platform. So, uh, and thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. This really means a lot to me. And uh, today's video is going to be very helpful, especially for Pixel Lab designers. And this video is going to really boost your design game. So without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so first off, we are going to create uh, a new project and we'll be deleting this new text right here. So, okay, then we're going to import our image. So you click the plus icon, then from gallery. So once our gallery is loaded up, we're going to pick our background from the gallery so this is the background i'm going to be using okay so we're going to crop it to instagram size and then we can position this anywhere you want i'm going to leave this at the middle okay then we go to this shape and then relative size and then we scale it up if you notice this picture is looking a little bit blur so i'm going to copy it and delete the previous one this way the picture remains clear okay so we just add our text and i'm going to add the text 3 key okay so uh, i'm going to increase the size and the font i'm using today is uh, poppins bold so you can get the link you can get the fonts with the link in the description below Poppins, I'm going to choose uh, Poppins Gold. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to turn on the grid. I use grid for all my projects. Basically. So I'm going to center, align this, and then I'm going to reduce the kernel or the spacing between the three and the key. Notice the edge of the key is going to be cut, so we're going to increase the padding. Yeah, and still align it. Okay, we're going to copy this and then we're going to write followers. So we're going to reduce the size and then put this under yeah okay so we want to give this text depth so we're going to go to inner shadow and then we'll pick the color from the background i'll pick this color and then it rhymes the background i'll increase the blur radius or i'll reduce it first and then position my text how i want it to look then increase the blur radius yeah so it's too harsh so reduce the intensity of the blur radius and then yeah so we do the same for the followers this and then okay i'm just going to reduce this and increase this okay okay that's nice so i'm going to go to my layers and then Select this to center align it. Okay. So the next part, I'm just going to copy this and write. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, and then we'll change our our font to a light 
Rita from her poppins. Is regular and then we're going to turn off the sorry we're going to turn off the inner shadow and then we're going to reduce the size reduce it again Make it to about 25 yes all right so the let me reduce this a little okay so the next thing we're going to do is to import our shape so first of all we're going to modify our grid we tap here and shift it to the edge yeah so we'll do the same for here <coughs> Sorry, so we scale this here until it snaps to the grid. Then we bring this one down here. So we take this down and we bring it here. Okay, so let me increase this a little bit. This screenshot is basically the UI element from our Instagram page. So we are going to crop this. Let me zoom in a little bit. Crop this. Yeah. Sorry. So we are going to relative size and increase the size. Okay, so this is what we have. If you notice it's looking blur, so you just copy it and delete the previous one. So we are going to head over to erase color and we'll erase the black color then increase the tolerance then we are going to add color to to the icon yeah then scale it down a little bit and then center align it and then take it down yeah so this is how I achieved it on Instagram okay so I just want to so we're having a dark interface so we'll actually see what's going on so then we we'll copy sorry we're going to copy this and then go to crop and then recrop it to the upside yeah so i don't want the time and get to show just here so Is perfect yeah so i'm just going to change the color to white yes so okay yes so i'm going to use my eraser to clean the parts i don't want so first off i'll clean here again to clean the other parts that I don't want ok good so we we'll do this a little bit and position it there ok so I get it somewhere then the most important part of this tutorial is how I created the blur where the rounded rectangle is ok so we are done the design you save it as a project and just save it as 3k okay the project has been saved so what we're going to do now is to hide all our elements except the shape the part we don't are going to blow okay then we'll save it transparent so it's made the shape here so i'm going to save it as an image png you can save it as default because of our time, I'm just saving it as medium. 
So when this look, when this seems, uh, when I'm going to hide it and then open the rest of the design. So what we're basically going to do is take it to another application and we're going to blow the design in the application. Then we bring back to the lab and uh, we're going to do the rest of okay, the editing. Okay, so the application we're going to do is to the Snapseed. So, I'm just going to open Snapseed and then import our recent design. Then what we're going to do is to go over to edit and go to lens blow so we are going to reduce the vignette strength then scale this down reduce the transition okay, and then increase the blow strength also I'm going to increase it to the highest okay so once this is done you want the blood to be you save it as a png then your full design you're going to blow it and then import it as a texture inside the shape which you exported before i don't know whether it gets me but if you don't understand you have to watch the tutorial again or i'm going to create a new tutorial on how i did it so if you want a new tutorial 
leave a comment in the description below asking for a new tutorial and i'm going to give you guys okay so thank you for sticking to the end and i'll catch you in the next tutorial